एहवीर या देखा मैंने बोला था मेरे आदमियों को उनकी चीजें पता है उन्होंने बोला था ये बंदा यहाँ आएगा और ये यहाँ पर आया इसे मारने से इसका बाप भी डर जाएगा ना बॉस वुड बी हैप्पी टू नहीं मानना नहीं है तो सोम ऑफ डोंट कर्स इट्स अ लिटरेट यू नो चोय यार ना he will do anything to save his kid he will be more used to us alive nah i think i like this kid better when he's dead so with the boss Then Maksuf is getting old, having his set out in the open like that. Huh. This is a young man's game, but the old man won't be too happy, and he has a cavalry. Hell, we don't even have Kabir. Why so negative, Veer? Kabir was a good soldier, tough. We have a hundred like him. Really? And how many do you have just like me? You. You are one of a kind, unique. My right hand man, unique. Right. Oh, I wouldn't do that. In fact, I'm going to have to ask you to give Vincenzo your weapons. I don't mean to impose, but too many weapons make me nervous. How did you know about this place? We are the only people alive that know about this. Well, I wouldn't be so sure. Us, for example. You what? Take a seat. I insist. Clearly, you know why I'm here. What you think you can pull a stunt like that and get away with it? If so, then you grossly underestimate how much my family means to me. When you screw up, you don't get a do-over. This is war. We take advantage. We will do what you won't. That's why we will top. We aren't at war. What do you really think I'd go to the mattresses with a pip squeak like you? I know you. I know a hundred, a thousand of you. Always climbing higher and higher and higher till one misstep and my son. That was your misstep. So what now? Are you going to kill me? Then why go through all of this trouble of sitting me down and explaining? Nothing you said is news to me. I could have killed you any time I wanted to, but I didn't because I don't. Everything you've done till now, I get it. You've been smart, quick. But I want to offer you a chance. I still do. A chance at a better life. You come work for me, sort of like a capo. You have those where you're from? Are you suggesting an alliance? Yeah, sure, an alliance. Set him right there, your boss. It'll work for me. This is stupid. How did you even think I would consider that? I didn't do what I did to join your little gang, you old man. I want this city. Your days are over. It's mine now. 
You shut your mouth, you filthy lowlife. You're lucky you're not dead. You and your bastard boyfriend. Gun down, Frenchie. But these mother- Don't curse. It's unbecoming. Now gun down. I apologize. Frenchie's a little jumpy. Never been to one of these things before. Vincenzo, bring me the, the thing. The thing from rules. I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, surprises make me hungry. It's an unexpected surprise. Oh, where are my manners? I, would either of you two like something to drink? I, I didn't think to bring you any food, of course, because, I mean, well, we do have drinks. Sure. Some water. Please, have something a little harder. It's on me. Here's the thing, fellas. You, especially you, you're trying to start up some sort of turf war. You're trying to come in and flood my city with crime. But that's the thing you don't understand about crime. And, and by crime, I mean heinous crime, where the victims get injured or die. Crime in this city, it's at an all-time low. I mean, let's go through it. Rape, almost never. Burglary? Only from the rich with kickbacks to the poor. Murder? Depends on what you classify as murder. Wise guys get knocked all the time. People like you and me? It's an occupational hazard. But Johnny know nothing on the street? Safer than any place on earth. Look at it from the cop's point of view. You know how many unsolved murder cases were in this city last year? Nine. Nine. That's not just unusual. It's impossible. It's like the Lord's hand is guiding this great city. And it is. I am. You work for the cops? No. I merely point them in the right direction. You see, I grew up here. Don't let the old timers fool you. This city was the seventh circle of hell back in the day. But I fixed it because I care for this city. I love this city. I need it to be safe. That's something that you can't understand. I, it's because, uh, uh... Vincenzo, what's the word what I'm looking for? What are you talking about? What do you even mean? You're telling me all these years you've been trying to save this city? If I wanted to fix this city, I would have become a running civil engineer. Listen here, you wrinkly old...
What a mess. Too much echo. Now, oh, young man, you know why you're here. Would you like to reconsider my offer? Are you joking? This, this is your big appeal. You're protecting this city and you want me to play along? You are crazy. Insane! I grew up with nothing, nothing, but him and a boy who was killed earlier this morning. We lived in the slums for 15 years. And then one day, I find a way to sneak out of that miserable dirt hole. I come here into this land of opportunity with my two best friends to earn us a lifestyle we deserve. And you want us to abandon that for your deranged romantic dream? You not so facto man. You kids and your sense of entitlement. You know, you'd think that people like, well, you know, would appreciate such a rare opportunity. You know, it's, it's disappointing. We have a nice salary structure, you know. Salary structure? That's nice. Is that what your people want? A nice, steady, stable life? Regular job. But not you. Entitlement? Please. You want a piece of everything without doing anything. What do you call it? Waiting one's beak. That. You've worked once in your life. One day. And I know about the stories. Stories? Oh yeah. About you and your father. I know. You want everything served on a silver platter. Like this. Wow. You tell this whole big sob story and now I'm the prick? You narcissistic mooly. You don't know nothing. You never did know nothing. Not a piccolo like you. You don't believe everything you hear. Didn't your father teach you that? Did you even have a father? You probably never even met the guy. Because if I raised such a disrespectful pygmy, I probably wouldn't have stuck around. Enough of this. It doesn't matter. This is going nowhere. You won't be able to convince me. You were too reckless, man. <laughs> <laughs>